Good morning. This is Susan of the North in the wee hours of the day with the rune of the day. I'm going to do something a little bit more complex today than I've done here yet. Um, because I feel that after last night's full moon, the tension of the elections, the uncertainty that many of us are standing in facing the winter, I wanted to just get a little bit more emphasis on the message that I was feeling. The first rune, so I've done a three rune draw. The first rune I've drawn is Perthro, the mystery. This is also lockbox and games of chance and meetings with the Norns. It's our chance to meet our own destiny. If we choose to step into accord with what is happening in our lives at this time. So whatever challenges we are facing are represented by the second rune that I drew, now these. Now these is the need rune, the need fire. Sometimes the need can be so strong that we must cut back to what is absolutely necessary for our existence and let go of everything else in order to get through the times that we are in. And this message is further supported by the rune ack. I can get it clearly here in my, my it's the dark of the morning here. The rune ack is the oak tree. It's deep rooted and it stands alone sometimes and it draws the lightning. Many of us might feel that we're in that place in this day and age and moment with the political climate and the, the, the climate of our earth home being threatened by the excesses of humanity. But what I find strengthens me in these times, and I have this very early in my life from the Gurji Fork, and I realized a new way to say this is to be able to ground yourself in the witness. The witness is a very old concept um, from the Near East, the Orient, the earliest habitations of humanity. It's about that part of ourself that is detached and objective and can watch what is going on in our life and our life experience in order to reflect upon and make sense of it. And we are also spirit embodied in physical life. And I believe this, we come in in order to learn what we set ourselves to learn or to grow through or to be of service, whatever our life purpose, whatever that flavor that has, it's different for everybody. There's different levels of soul ascension and no one is better or worse than another. We are all on equal footing in the physical body. We have opportunities, we have challenges. But just to do what Gurdjieff's called, remember yourself. Um, it's the words of God to Moses in the Bible. Just sit quietly with yourself for a moment and breathe, let everything go and say, I am, I am. It's that simple. And the Norns, who are represented by the rune Perthro, their purpose, or they hold the triad of being. I know I'm getting into some advanced um, runeology here, and I want to deal with this. I'm working on a rune online class on the runes. But there are three triads in many traditions the affirming, the denying, and the reconciling. The reconciling is being. Just to come back to a place from the stress that you may find yourself in, to sit quietly with yourself in this moment and say, I am. And be that simple, is to be refreshed, is to be renewed by the waters of the spirit of life. And I want to leave you with that simplicity today. If you are interested in more information, please leave your name in the comments below this post, and I will do my best to get back to you with answers to your questions. This is Susan of the North with the runes of the day were Perthro, Nauthes, and Ak.